why he said that, I don't know. Oh, so I went to investigate a crate, and it says a stash of old 80s porn magazines. Nothing useful here. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my inventory. Wrong button. Well, let's see. I think the shovel did more damage. Yeah, the shovel does more damage, so I'll put the shovel on you. And the hammer, I will give... not you. Uh... No, I'll give it to you. I don't have anything else gear-wise yet. I'm gonna investigate this. Found some beer. Found more potato chips. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the next room. Which is full of lava! And they see a monster and are surprised. Mike, wow, check this out! A monster! Skeleton, what's up? Mike, what did it say? Francis, let's kick its ass before it manages to change our minds. So yeah, they immediately start attacking shit. Now I'm just killing shit. Okay, after I defeat it. Freaking fun! We beat a skeleton! Looking around. Cool, is that lava flowing down there? Or it's or it's magma. I can't remember the difference. Then there was like a growling sound. Mike says, did you hear that? Johnny says, what? Francis, random encounters. Mike, bastards. And it's telling me about using the left mouse button, but I don't use the fucking left mouse button. At least not for Jerbo. Okay, so I went to the, another room, and I found pizza! And there's this little uh, thingy here that if I interact, I found monies! And if I look in here, found a tankard. This one has a ruler. Money. Rope! Woohoo! Has rope. Okay. So I'm gonna bring up the inventory in. Weapons. Back up. So I'm actually going to give this to my ninja guy. And I'm gonna give the tankard to my fighter guy. Okay, first fight. I'm going to fight. I'm going to attack you. Yay. Oh, oh. One of the funny things that Francis says at the end of the combat is, Back off, men. I'm not a fruit ninja. Yep, referencing the app game. Okay. Open this one. Got potato chips. Got some wine. Um, I'm gonna go up this way. Okay, I'm going to attack the skeleton. Magic missile on the last thing. Then in one hit. Okay, so I got an item from doing the combat. The item is a bone. Nigel says, that's my favorite part of the game. Apparently he likes bones. Okay, so, see these torches here? Woo. Go right through them. Go in hidden area! Woo! Kill. 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 Skill! Magic missile! The only one enemy left. Secret 
found treasure. Treasure, treasure. There's just some gold sitting about. There's nothing else to find. No, I don't want to die. a pot top, which is an item that can be equipped, which I think, I'm going to put on my ninja guy. So he's got a pot on his head, or using it as a shield, I don't know which. I'm fighting a skeleton tank that's wearing sunglasses. Achievement and it's gonna be plus four hearts. I don't know if that's actually an item to use, use, or what it is. Wait, here I need to use. Oh! Oh! Okay, so there are revives by the looks of it. That's handy to know. I found cardboard helmet. Who should equip it? I'll put it on our spellcaster because he needs more health. It doesn't matter which way I go, but it's all the same. Found more potato chips. Ah. Chips and orange juice. Why is this red and this one different? uses a lot of grit, so I'm going to fill up his grit, and I'm going to fill up his might. Okay, so there's a statue in the one room that when you interact with it, Mike says, can't push this way, so if you go to the side, you can push it. And then he says, that's what I call a hole. Nigel, is this the way to go ahead? Mike, why not? Johnny, let's use the rope you found before. Let's see, I can't interact with that. But I can. Monster Omatic. Francis, wait! There might be a trap! Mike, chillax! There can't be traps without a warning. Nigel, so that's how monsters are created. And the slime says, I'll slime your pretty face. And it has a red bow tie on it. That's cool. <laughs> Yay, and everybody leveled up and their stats increased. Yahoo! A little bit of speed for you. 
increase your speed, increase your crit, increase that, and your crit. So yeah, when they level up, they get like their stat back to full, so. Okay. Lots of spellcasters. Reading a tombstone. He deserved to die. He was a douchebag. This one. Died while beta testing. Uh, what are you looking at? Died after playing D&D for 12 hours in a row. Died because he hasn't bought D&D's, or Doom and Destiny's full version. I found another ruler thing. Found another shovel. Died because he was dead. Died because he hacked sense. Doom and Destiny. Oh wait, I should start at the top one. Okay. Died peeling a banana. That was a very big one. Died because he did not pay attention to Electrified 4. Last one. No, really, watch out for the electrified floor. Okay, so when you go to the last part of this room, there's a pile, there's piles of bones on a certain section of the tiles. So some of them are two colors in a two by two tile section. Some of the two by two tile sections are just solid gray. Do not step on the solid gray. Step on the multicolored. Potato chips, found some beer. Hit the switch! Yay, something opened. We do not touch the things. So it did not say the traps were just activated. Or deactivated, not just activated. What the hell am I saying? Ah! Shit! Okay, damn it. Died. I went a little too far over. I did not die. I just got hurt. Um. Uh, I'm a little trigger happy with buttons. Shush. Okay. Oh yeah, I need to look at the stuff in this room because it is important. In the one room where we found the statue that moves, there's a picture sitting on the table here. Mike says, look, a picture of Benjamin, our game master. Look at the way he's smiling. I'm pretty sure it's Loser, very... where the heck are you now? <laughs> hmm? I said, I'm pretty sure it's a very creepy smile. Kind of. Then there's a box here. You open it up and it has a tankard. It actually makes you think that it might have like a heart or something in it. But it has a tankard. 
You, you know, like Snow White bleeding heart thing where it's actually takes heart. You'll see his battle. Oops, I. Uh, okay. That's not what I want to do. Whatever. But, um, yeah, remember in Snow White where the Huntsman had the pig's heart in the little box or whatever? That's what that made me think of. I got a job, I got a job, you guess what's inside it? Yeah. Uh -oh. Got my potato chips. Apparently, I can't step over a skull holding a candle. Found more rope. Found sunglasses. Um, give benefit to you, so I'll switch you to bone. Well, I'll also switch you to bone, since you don't get any bone with this. Give the tankard sunglasses. We need more SP, so I'll give you that. Put the cardboard hat on our pirate-ish dude. Guacamole, what a treasure! Nigel, awesome! Francis, could it be a trap? Johnny, no, I don't think so. We are low-level characters, and we don't have a rogue who could disarm traps, so there can't be any traps. Just because you don't have a rogue doesn't mean there aren't going to be traps. That is stupid. Nigel, yeah, Johnny's right. You're also stupid, and you're a spellcaster. Oh, dear God. <laughs> I have a thief, but it's on a completely different game. I, I'm sorry, you can't use her. Okay, so there is... Actually, let me... Ch did I check these before? Okay. So, there is a sword in the middle of the treasure room, which you can take, which gives you a rusty sword. Mike, pirates don't use swords like this. Fighters like Johnny do. So it's telling you to have Johnny equip it. Which is much the road's good enough. Okay. Okay. So I am not going to save. I'm just going to eat some food. Uh, because once I get to the part where I'm at in um, my first game, I'm just going to switch over to that one. <laughs> 